Yo, what's up guys, and as you guys know, they added the Duvillian Mechanism event, which is just like super, super hell mode, uh, with waves of mobs. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen Agamatsu's and Punchy's videos on it. And, guys, it may seem impossible to solo this event. No, it's not, because as someone with no friends, I have developed a build that will get you to floor 50 of this event with just, with no friends at all. All you need is this build, right? So, um... If you guys haven't watched part one, make sure you go ahead and do that. But we're going to be finishing um, the build today. We're going to be doing the new event and going from floor one to floor 50 solo with no help at all. So make sure you guys watch until the end because a lot of people seem to think it's actually impossible to, to get the floor 50 solo. But it's not. Uh, if you have this build, it's so easy, okay? So in part one, we actually Shrine of Ordered and that's where I left part one at. So, um... What I want to do now is I want to put all my uh, points into Frost Draw and Shadow Cast. We're going to go 40 Frost Draw and 30 Shadow Cast um, to continue the build. Because there are a lot of mantras that we're actually missing. The only mantras that we actually need, that we actually have, is Brace and Bolt Piercer. Shoulder Bash and Grand Javelin aren't mantras that we need. We're going to um, re-roll them later, right? And guys, by the way, uh, even if you do have friends and you're wondering why solo the new event... If you sold the new event, you don't have to worry about like five people taking your loot. You can just have it all. And the new loot, the new, the loot of the new event is crazy. You get like Crips, Curves, uh, Sinner's Ash. So commonly, like, bro, this, this new event really devalued Crips and Curves heavily. And it makes some um, Sinner's Ash is so easy to get. So, okay. Uh, we need to get, what I want to do first is get 30 Frost Draw. I mean, 40 Frost Draw. And then we could go on to Shadow Cast. So let me see how much actually uh, Frost Draw we have right now, guys. Let me just uh, train this real quick. Oh, there's a Void Walker. All right, hold on, guys. Bro, he's running away. Oh my god, guys. I literally hit him like a hundred times. Like, it's crazy how much I hit that kid. Ah! Bro, I I never want to do another bounty. Like, I never, want, I never want to fight with a heavy weapon, a star heavy weapon in my life anymore. I hit that kid like a hundred thousand times. Now he's healing at the campfire. Let me try to snipe him with the Grand Javelin. Bah! Oh my god, I never want to do another bounty in my life, bro. I wasn't even the one doing the bounty. I just... Uh, I let that kid get away and run in water because uh, my hunger and thirst was slow. Um, so the goal for this progression, guys, is we need to get the Vampirism Enchant Stone. So we're going to have to do Deep Shore Fall. So uh, we need Enforcer's Axe. We also need to get 40 Frost Draw and 30 Shadow Cast. And we also need to get, most importantly, guys... Tacit. This build is going to revolve around cheese with Tacit and run it back. So we have to make sure we actually get the bell run it back. Hopefully we do. Or else it might be a little a bit of an issue low key. So let me try to get to 40 Frost Draw firstly. Let's see if we can. No, we can't. But uh, that's why I actually have Autodidact Orbs. Or that's why I actually went Autodidact. So that um, I don't have to spam click my magic if I actually want to do something right. So let's make a campfire real quick. Let's get some wood. Put this down. Okay, let's do flint. Bah! There we go. Um, now, let's go to... Okay, auto dialect points. We're going to go uh, 40 frost draw. Hopefully, we have enough EXP for this. Um, I'm pretty sure we do. Yeah, we do. We can level up now. So, let's see what we get. Chronostasis. Um, we don't actually need that, but everything else here is pretty bad. So, we'll, we'll just get that anyways, right? Um, triathlete. Mm, we'll get triathlete sure why not even though it's like not needed for a pv build since we're gonna be in the depths let's see punishing blow why not and let's keep going song chant there we go all right now let's just go for a frost draw so you're just using the auto dotted points right boom there we go we're probably gonna be able to level up again so we're gonna go 30 shadow cast now so let me go ahead and do that real quick um before i pick those talents let me tell mystic that i actually want um zero star ice mantras right um i want the zero star ice mantras so let's go ahead and tell mystic that real quick we're looking for frozen servants of warren's blade so what mantras will find me i see initiate level ice mantras there we go uh let's get crystallization of course okay we'll get we'll get chilling flourish why not and as for the mantras this is not what i wanted let's just burn all this stuff because all this stuff is not what we needed we'll burn reinforce as well we don't want that. Um, receive a random ice combat mantra. Uh, okay, I'm just going to pick this so I can reroll it later. Crystal Impale. Yeah, we did not want that at all. We want Warden's Blades and Frozen Servants. So let me use my last auto points on that. So 
Let's put it into shadow cast. And boom. Okay, we can lock this now. We can lock this. This can be our final stats. And now, the rest of our points. Um, well, we also need five strength for carnivore as well. So let me just... Oh, I've learned what I can from training right now. Here, let me just... Let me just um, spend my strength points. Eh, actually, I'll, I'll save it low-key. But, okay, guys. The rest goes into heavy weapon. And we're also going to go five strength so we can get carnivore. Um, now, what I want to do is... So I was debating on whether I should get Tacit right first, Tacit first, or Blinds here first. Because the oath we're actually going is Blinds here. Um, I debated, and I'm actually just going to get Blinds here at first. So let's go to Lower Aresia. We need a Blindfold, actually. So we're going to have to stop by Minitresa until we get Blindfold. But yeah, we're going to stop in Minitresa, find a Blindfold. Then we'll go Lower Aresia, get Blinds here, and then we need Sightless Beam. Uh, that's the whole reason we're even going Blinds here, for Sightless Beam. And you guys, guys... Once this build is maxed, you guys are going to see this build really come into, like, fruition, right? It's going to be super good. And you guys are going to see how we're actually going to be able to solo um, the new Super Super Hell Mode, a.k.a. Void Tower, right? Guys, I call it Void Tower because I can't remember how to pronounce the actual name of it. But when I say Void Tower, I mean the new event, okay? All right. Let's just make a quick stop by Minitresa. Probably go to the Crypt, get a Blindfold real quick. And then we can uh, go to Loresia. Oh, there's a Merchant Ship. What if they're selling a Blindfold in the Merchant Ship? Imagine that. Let's see. Let's see if we're lucky or not. Lucky enough for that, at least. Uh, no, they are not. All right, let's go to the crypt, guys, so we can actually get a blindfold. Or actually, there's probably an easier way, low-key. Uh, if I just server hop the trial one place, uh, there's like four chests that spawn. And um, pretty good chance of getting the blindfold from there. So I'm just going to do that low-key. So let me go ahead and do that real quick, guys. Let me just run past these guys. And okay, let's just server hop these four. Someone looted the stuff. But no, no shot they would take a blindfold if there was one, right? Okay, so it wasn't here. Uh, let me just server hop, guys. And I'll let you guys know when I get blindfold. All right, guys. I server hopped, like, for the past 20 minutes. I am not finding a blindfold. So instead, let me just see if I can find one at the crypt. Because there is, like, a lot more chests there. If I don't find one at the crypt, I'm going to be slightly worried, low-key. But I'm, I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will. How hard is it to get one blindfold? Am I right? But yeah, guys. I can't wait until I finish this build. This build is going to be really, really good. To solo the first build actually and probably the only build to solo um this event the new event so yeah just just you guys wait okay we're gonna be the first build to solo get to uh wave 50 without um glitching so okay let's just make my way up to crypt since i'm gonna be at the crypt i might as well um get rid of some of my mantras as well because um for a better chance of getting a the mantra i want because we don't need grand javelin we don't need soldier bash we don't need crystal impale so yeah that'd probably be a good idea as well all right we're at the crypt let's ask that guy right there if he has a blindfold if not we can just farm like we were planning on doing okay i asked him he's hollywooding me so uh let's just defeat these guys and loot the chests i'll let you guys know once i get the blindfold there's so many of them though i forgot that i still have like the basic sword so it's gonna be a little a little difficult okay let's just grip these guys but these guys are loot gobbling but there's three people here. I'm asked. There's no chance. Not one of them. These guys have a blindfold. Do you guys have a blindfold? I feel like a homeless person just begging these guys for a blindfold. But there's not. There's no chance these guys don't have one. And why are they all Hollywooding me? Just answer me. Please. Uh, it's really bad enough that it took me like 10 years for these guys. Do you guys have a blindfold? Oh. He said, wait, super. Okay. Now that he knows it's me, please answer me. Do you... Oh my god, he's a blindfold. Can I have? Please. Yeah. Oh my god, we got blindfold. Thank you. Go. Okay, guys. Um, since we just got blindfold and um, we're at... No, I don't. I'm sorry. All right. Thank you. But um, since we just got blindfold and we're at the crypt, since we're here, let me just get rid of one of the mantras that I don't want. And hopefully we get a mantra that we do want. So let's just talk to you. Let's get rid of uh, Crystal Impale for now. Okay. Let's get rid of that. And okay, perfect. We got Warren's Blade. So let's get Warren's Blade. And there we go. That's one of the mantras that we actually wanted. So things are looking very up for us right now, boys. Very up. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. I can't I can't um, get rid of our mantra because I only have three knowledge. But okay, let's go to Lower Risa now, boys. Um, get blinds here. Get sightless beam. And then we can um, get tacit. Um, I also want to get um, bell before level 20 so that we can get the talent full reset. Because full reset is a necessity, right? So yeah. Also, let me go. Let me go to Mystic real quick and tell Mystic that I want zero star ice mantra still. All right, Mystic. I don't pay you to be my guild base for nothing. What mantras will find me? I seek. Uh, let's just say hybrid mantras. 
because we do need permafrost. So, okay, you're lucky. We don't need zero star mantras right now. All right, let's get, leave. And uh, all right, let's keep heading to Lo Loricia. And then I think it's five, five saves, five Pathfinder saves for Sightless Beam. So we're going to have to save five people from the depths. Hopefully one of the people that we save isn't like an undercover Vow of Thorns uh, person. Hopefully. That'd suck if, if, if so. All right. We're at uh, the waters of Minitresa. Let's spawn our boat, our humble dinghy, and off we go, boys. All right, guys. We're at Lower Risa. Of course, we have some guy that's trying to attack us right now. So give me one minute. All right, guys. We're back. Um, you know, ah, I hate fighting with heavy weapons, guys. Um, I think what I'm going to do... Let me level up, please. Whatever, I'm, I'm gonna let him live. But I'm really debating on just having the lights on toll equipped while I'm in the overworld, so void walkers can't like cheese me because I'm on heavy weapon. Cause, bro, I am. Did I crash? Cause I am not losing any fights at lights on toll. So, ah, I'm debating. I'm hardcore debating if I should uh, equip the lights on toll while I'm in the overworld. But I think I should be fine for now. Maybe if I see like another void walker come up on me, then I'll then I'll probably do it. But Let's just make our way up to Duke's Manor, um, and then get blinds here, boys. Actually, I just realized something. Because I only have 20 heavy weapon, and I have 75 willpower, and Lights Fallen Toll scales only off willpower, I'm doing more damage with the Lights Fallen Toll as of right now, until I get Enforcer's Act, or until I level up my heavy weapon more. So, it, right, it's literally like, oh, I was going to equip it, but it says I don't know how to wield my fist in combat yet, so, never mind. <sighs> I was about to equip the Lights Fallen Toll, and so I could level up my heavy weapon, but... It's fine that we can't right now. Would've been nice though. We're almost at Duke anyways. It's literally just over there, I think. All right, we're here. We're gonna have to make this slow jump, but there we go, we did it. All right, and now let's just go through the marking. And then I think it's just five saves for Sightless Beam, so we're chilling. We're actually chilling so hard. Also, let me use my dumbbell. No, I still I still have no XP, but okay, let's equip the Crimson Blind Phone that the guy gave us. Mm, where is it? Where's, where's the Crimson Blind Oh, right there. Okay, we equip, now we're blind. Inspect, take the oath, and boom, guys. We have blinds here now. Okay. Let's use Call of the Deep and let us go down and save five people so we can get Sightless Beam. All right. Bro, everything looks so different um, with blinds here. It's actually crazy, but um, all right. Let's go to the Depths Elevator so we can save some people. But we got to save oathless people, though. Well, I'm going to ask this guy if I can help him escape the Depths. He said, yeah. Come. All right, guys. We found our first, our first freshie that we're going to save. Okay. One out of five. We set to escort him to the elevator, but uh, okay, good progress so far. The first of many, the first of very many. I'm su I'm super excited to um finish this build because ah, we're literally gonna be able to um get all the riches in the world. So let's just escort this guy up the elevator. I don't know if his friend wants to come up too, but I hope not because I'm not I'm not carrying two people. It's only one at a time, buddy. Wait your turn. Oh, there's a jellyfish there. I'm just gonna attack it for XP. Bah, bah, out. I just heard someone wipe. I know it wasn't one of the people I'm carrying. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, of course there's a Scholar Somatic in this chest. I was looking for this in part one. Bro, the first chest I check is there's a Scholar Somatic. I was I was literally looking for that in part one. What What are the odds? Whatever. Let's just, uh... Is there a barrel stack over here in the server? There is, but it's barely... I mean, here, let me take this barrel. And he can just jump on my head, so... Oh, I can also train my, uh... My dumbbell a little bit, too. Alright, let's go up here. I'll put down a barrel, and I'll let him jump on my head, and things should be chill. Should be. All right, let's do this. Oh, no, that barrel fell. All right, just jump on my head, bud. You, you make it, I promise. All right, I'm going to say jump up. All right, buddy, you got this. Go, go, go. Oh, he, he been the guy. They didn't even need my help. All right, let's go, buddy. All right, we can just drop all the way down. Did he get knocked? Where is he? Oh, he's right He's right there. He juked me. All right, let's go up. And this is also going to help us a lot with belly XP as well, because uh, Enforcer gives a lot of... um belly xp all right hopefully it's not two enforcers should just be one but yeah let's help this little guy uh did i crash why is no one moving oh okay it's just one enforcer all right oh it's all wraps for the enforcer and because the fresh isn't hitting i'm getting fully xp too like belly xp oh yeah it, it's so wraps bruh bah. boom and there we go that's our first save boom we got mind soothe which is what we don't need we need sightless uh beam so let's just do that four more time boys all right guys uh back in the depths and before we save another freshie, Flopping Man is here to actually give me uh, his DVM kit. Um, it's like 40% DVM, 50% DVM. It's it's low-key cracked. But yeah, we're going to be using the best DVM set in the game on this build. And guys, if I thought this build was going to wipe, 
I, I wouldn't use the DVM set. So obviously, you guys gotta trust in the process, right? So let's see. 11% damage versus monster coat. 3% earrings. Um, 3% red royal guard. The vigil hood is 16% monster armor. 16% <laughs> monster armor. And let's just equip everything else that he's giving us as well. Jeez, bro. I feel so, so, um, blessed. Let's check our total DVM. Our total DVM is 35%. But, but what we have is, um, hold on. Oh, wait. He, he, he has something else. Oh, boots. Also, oh, it's even higher. Okay, what I want to do is this. So we have 12% monster armor iron pauldrons. Let's, mm, yeah, let's equip that, right? We'll put the Iron Singer, the 11% Iron Singer in the bank. Okay. Let me cook. Let me cook. 11% Iron Singer in the bank. Okay. Also, let me put the Gladiator Helm in the bank as well. Because 5% damage just monsters. Okay, our bank is literally full. Shout out to Flopping, man. But, okay, let's check our final stats. So, what we have is we have 26% physical armor. That's because we're wearing diver armor. But 32% damage versus monsters. On top of that, we also have... um, We have... A Vigil Hood with 16% monster armor, 12% physical. The best, the best hood in the game. What in the world? Okay. And we also have Iron Pauldrons with 12% monster armor. So in total, we have 28% uh, monster armor resistance with 35% damage versus monsters. Very cracked. And this is going to help us a lot in, able to, in being able to solo Hell Mode. Not Hell Mode, um, the new event, right? The Void Tower. Let me just talk about the visibility of this stuff real quick. Okay, there we go. And one last thing is we also have Aquafina coming over to give us the ingredients for a Black Diver, right? So, armor, let's learn Black Diver real quick. What we're missing is a Thresher Spine, Vibrance, stuff like that. And let me also use my um, Dumbbell and get 5 Strength real quick. Oh, no, I learned what I can for training right now. Alright, but, bro, our set, our PV set is fully cracked out. You can't, you really can't get better, the, better than this. Now we just have to wait for Aqua to give us the, the Black Diver ingredients. Oh wait, this guy has the 75 forward to Chio. I'm, I'm just asking if I can have it real quick. And he gave it to me. Oh, bro, this is boosted. This is so boosted. He, I, I'll give him my shield, but... <laughs> he had the 75 forward to shield. He just gave it to me. What W mans. Shout out to him. Wait, is, is someone getting attacked in depths? What's going on here? Oh, that guy's attacking freshies. Stuff gets tragic. All right, guys. Aquafina's here. She's going to give me the ingredients for Black Diver. And then we can get um, Black Diver. Things are looking very up. And then we could help Aqua Phoenix skip the depths so that we can progress our blinds here. Things are looking very up. Boom. And she gave me Calab. She gave me 57 Calabash. How did she know I was hungry? Oh my. Bro, I'm getting spoiled. She's feeding me. Thank you. What a goat. What a goat. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm pretty sure I can uh, craft Black Diver now. Here, let's talk to the blacksmith. Okay, craft. And boom. Black Diver. Where absolutely dripped i'm not even gonna hold you guys no no glaze were drip bro no glaze no glaze okay now let's um help aquafina escape the depths and that would count as two out of five so let's uh just head on over and then that's also five enforcers to our bell progression so we might get bell pretty early which uh we need to get because we need full reset so also guys make sure you guys like the video comment railblade and subscribe if you guys want the two railblades uh, the, the Grand Sariska, the Light Font Tools I have in my inventory, because I'm going to be giving them all away. So make sure you guys like the video, subscribe, and comment Railblade if you want that stuff. Um, I'm going to look in part one and see you comment at Railblade and give out uh, some of them as well. But uh, yeah, let's just keep on going. Alright guys, let's go up. And this bat this bat be two out of five. And uh, yeah, our, bro, we got so much done in such a short time. We got Black Diver, we got the best set in the game. Now all we need is just Enforced Racks of Vampirism. Uh, Tacit. Actually, we need a lot. <laughs> With sightless B, we need a lot, bruh. Alright, let's just beat up the Enforcer. And let's, get, let's uh, just progress. Uh, where is the Enforcer? Oh, there he is. Alright, let's just make this fast. Look how much, look how little damage we're taking to Enforcer because of our uh, set, bruh. We're taking like... <laughs> where we can really stat check Enforcer. Genuinely crazy. And there we go. Okay, that is 2 out of 5. Alright, alright. Let's go back to the depths. And let's get Freshy three out of five. Okay, let me recruit a random Freshy here. Yo, can I help you to escape depths? Guild mentally disabled boys. He said, "All right, all right, guys, we found we found a Freshy. Let us go to the elevator." Bro, look at that! Look at that flaming crab. His eyes are on fire. That's so cool. Hold on, let me let me just defeat these mobs real quick to save the Freshy. Bro, the crab's eyes are on fire. That's sick. 
That is so sick. Also, we're taking no damage. What a what a nice life. Bro, that's so cool. His eyes. Uh, I, I have not seen that ever. Really sick. This guy's a corrupted crab, not even dealing any damage to us. Also, guys, just keep in mind, you don't need the best PV set in the game to solo um the new event, right? Um I I'm just doing it because I have it right, but um you don't you don't need it. When, once you guys see how I actually solo it, you'll real re you really realize that you really don't need all that. Maybe like a 50 HP set at max, which is really easy to get. Also, let's see if we can get to five uh, strength real quick. Yes, we can. All right, let's lock strength now. We're never gonna level up with that again. We just need that for carnivore, and let's see if we can level up our um weapon manual as well. Oh, I think we're gonna be able to level up. Yep, we are. All right, guys, let's see what we get. Carnivore, thank you. Okay, perfect. Let's get... Mm, okay, let's get Gourmet. And I don't really want any of these low-key. So let's just fold that. And Song Chant. There we go. All right. Bro, this barrel stack looks way bigger than before. But hopefully he can make that jump. All right, perfect. Okay, let's drop down. And up we go. All right, guys. Now, let's wait for them for us to spawn. All right. Let's just beat him up real quick. Real fast. And boom. Oh, we got Enforcer's Axe. Perfect. We need this once we get 75... Um, Heavy weapon. And we got Tranquil Circle too. We're not going to be using this, but at least we got it. All right. Three out of five. Just two more to go. Oh my God. Finally, I got rejected by five freshies to help them escape because they want to stay down here. But this guy said, said, okay to me. We found our fourth freshie. Perfect. All right, let's go. All right, guys. Let's go with our fourth freshie. Oh my God. He has Valid Thorns. Yes, that does change it. Okay. This guy says, sure, I guess. Uh, if he has Valid Thorns, I'm going to, I'm going to be mad. I'm going to be fur furious. Let me just uh, defeat this hour real quick, though, since he's here. All right. Hopefully, this guy comes up with us. Uh-oh. Is there no barrel stack? Oh, no, there is. Oh, we're balling. Oh, my God. That guy doesn't know how to climb barrels. He just fell all the way down. Oh, my God. He just fell all the way down again. How? I'll, I'll let him stand on my head. Oh, he made it. Shocked. I'm actually genuinely shocked. I'm not sure if this guy wants to come up with us, but you have a vow of thorns. I am not letting you come up. You're crazy. All right. Let's drop down, boys. Okay. Where is he? Oh, yes. That is not um. That is not him. Who is this? No, he's going up with the, the other guy. Come, 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 come. Get off. Get off the elevator. Oh, wait. Okay. The guy with Valthorns went off, thankfully. Whew. Would have been bad. This guy was willing to go up at the max level. <sighs> Dodge the bullet. All right. All right. He went up with us. Let's save him from the depths. Plot twist. He has Valthorns. Wait, two enforcers? Okay, I did not sign up for this. But we should be fine. I, I take literally no damage from uh, mobs, so let's just stack check them. I did not sign up for two enforcers, but I mean, it's just extra bell XP, I guess, right? Warren's Blade is going to carry us through. I thought that guy was a freshie. What? I don't know why it's giving us two, but Warren's Blade and we're balling. We're we're taking no damage because they're Mars, Mars armor. Yeah, we're fine. <sighs> okay, that's one defeated and that's two defeated. There we go. All seeing eye. We just need one more save and then we're max. So let's go ahead and find our final freshie. Oh my God, we found our final freshie. I say, yo, can I help you escape depths? He says, sure. Okay, Sightless Beam, here we go. Here we come, Sightless Beam. Let's go to the elevator, boys. Okay, he made it up. All right, the last freshie. He has Valid Thorns. Also, why is there a Silent Heart coming towards us? Um, why do you equip his weapon? Why is he coming with vengeance? Stuff is not looking good. Where's my freshie? Oh, he's not Silent Heart. He's a heavy weapon. All right, we're chilling. If I see a Silent Heart in the depths, I get more scared than if I see a Contractor in the depths. Where's the freshie? Oh, there he is. All right, they're letting me go up. All right, just one more enforcer. Unless he's vile thorns. Up we go. Let me also read my uh, weapon manual. Let's see if we can level up. I doubt it, but maybe we can. It'd be really nice if we get 75 heavy weapon. Nope, I've learned what I can for training right now. All righty. I have vile thorns, JK. Ah, don't scare me. What the? All right, this is the last enforcer. We the fight. Pretty bad server, low key. It's Cali. I have one bar ping, but we got this. Little hype man on the side. Go, go, go. Bah. Oh yeah, this enforcer's wraps. And there we go. And he gets the hammer too. Sightless beam. We did it. We got sightless beam. Thank you. Rogue freshy. <gasps> All right, guys. We maxed out blinds here finally. Let's go up now to the surface. All right, guys. Now that we maxed out blinds here, uh, we need to get tacit now. So what that means for us is we need to do five bounties, uh, five Etrus bounties um, so that we can get tacit. So I'm going to serve up this bounty uh, board until I, I see five easy bounties I can do. So, yeah. It's going to be a little tough on a PvE build, but that's why I wanted to get Sightless Beam first, just to make it easier on me. So, let's, uh, let's do it, guys. 
All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. The bounties were pretty boring, so I decided not to show it. But I got five bounties, so we're just heading to Meteor Isles right now so we can get Tacit. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're back at Tacit, boys. Okay, guys, we're at Meteor Isles. Um, let's go to um, the guy that gives us his Tacit. We should be able to have it now. I see his little tent over there. All right, Mr. Tacit Man, give me Tacit. And boom, we got Tacit. Uh, this is a necessity for the build. Make sure you guys get it. Now, we can go down to the depths. And let's get Bell, guys, because uh, we, uh, we need Bell ASAP. All right, guys, so because I want Bell pretty fast, and uh, I'm not going to be able to equip Enforcer's Act to level 20, that's how, like, min-max this build is. Um, let's... Oh, wait, how much heavy weapon XP do I have? I have quite a bit, actually. All right, well, let's just drop down into the Void, and we're going to do Layer 2 Hook List, okay? So, yeah, let's do that. Guys, the reason for doing Layer 2 Hook List is because... um Oh, I'm loading. You get 2 times Bell XP if, if, then rather than doing Layer 2 normally. Plus, we do a lot of PvE damage, even with the Avengers right now. So, we should be fine. Wish we had Frozen Servants, but nothing we can do about it right now. At least so. Just get the key, and let's do this. I'm probably going to do some of the requirements for Deep Shore Fossil. Like, I'm probably going to get the third journal, so I don't have to, like, go all the way there. I'm probably also going to do the Gale Wax as well. So, I'll do some of the requirements for Deep Shore Fossil, and I'll get Vampirism Enchant Stone before we even get Enforcer's Axe. Just so we're, like, prepared. So, when we equip Enforcer's Axe, like, we're actually, like, completely done, right? We should be able to get a lot of XP from doing this as well, so that's very nice. But let's keep on going. I missed the Gale Wax over there, but it's fine. We'll get it later. All right, let's keep on pushing through. Yeah, even though I'm, like, hookless, I'm doing this just for two times Bell XP because I was, cl I mean, I was, like, 50% my way to Bell, which a little surprising because I did, like, five and four, six enforcers by myself, so usually those give a lot of Bell XP. We have to pray that we get run it back, though, because if we don't get run it back, then we're in a little bit of a problem. Not a little bit of a problem. We're in a major problem, low key. So, and low key, I might do um, I might do floor two as well, just for the increased spell XP as well. Cause doing a hook list is like doing two chasers and two athrons. Very nice. All right, let's beat up the bone keeper real quick. Should be fast if we just use Warden's Blade and uh, Permafrost Prison. Oh, Permafrost Prison just missed completely, but it's fine. Yeah, let's sight beam him, and he should be um, should be knocked. We're taking like absolutely no damage from me either. Because of our Mars ar Moss Armor. It's very nice. And, okay, there we go. Let's power up the generator. We'll get the Gale Wax that we missed. We need four. So let me start collecting them now. We'll get the first Diver Journal, the second. It, basically, we're going to do all the stuff for Deep Shore Fossil in this one run. Power up the generator. There we go. And, uh, yeah. So let me explain to you guys why we're actually going Vampirism, okay? So we're going Vampirism, guys, because um, one thing that is a major issue in this new game mode is blood, right? Your blood bar is going to be your main issue. So with Fan Prism, every hit of an M1, you get like a bar of your blood back, right? So even though it's not the best for damage, um, it is just the best. The best for this game mode. Because uh, you never run out of blood, you never run out of food because you have Carnivore, and you're just chilling, you know? You're going to be in, in the game mode for like quite a bit, like maybe like an hour. But it is worth it because how common curves and crypts are is very, very common. Especially Cinder Ashes. So I can't wait to show you guys um, this boat in action, okay? I have to go back for that Gale Wax, but let's just drop down here real quick. Get rid of our Parasites as well very soon. Yeah, our Parasites are already squeamed. We have to get rid of them fast since we don't have any um, any Light Hook. Let's get the Gale Wax. Now we can go inside here, get the Talent for a Deep Shore Fossil. Alright, let's light the Lantern. There we go. Let's get you the Talent. So what about me owing one? There we go, Union Hook. And now we just need one more Gale Wax. We'll get the first Diver Journal. And then just just be chaser and, and we're good to go. And then just for myself, I'm going to do a quick uh, eth run just so I can um, guarantee Bell on this run. Yeah, let's get the journal. There we go. All right, guys. Looking good. Let's also get the fourth Gale Wax. I keep forgetting them. I'm a little, um, a little off guard. Okay, let's get you. And now let's go inside the Gale Wax uh, fountain real quick. <sighs> Hopefully we get uh, the, just the Vampirism Enchant Stone so we don't have to do all the Deep Shore Fossil stuff. But we'll see. We'll see if we get lucky enough. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I missed that boom. And boom. All right, let's go down. All right, let's see. Cheers to eating kite. We do not want that. What about you? Okay, we don't want you either. And finally, okay, so all trash, but it's fine. We had to do this for a deep shirt fossil anyways. Um, let's just go get the second journal, guys. Um, and then the third journal. And then we're free to do chaser. All right, let's make the run. Run on over. All right, guys, let's go in the pilgrim's spite. Clear our parasites and... Okay, we're almost done. 
Let's just drop down here for the second journal. Ooh, a little scary. Got a little kick. This journal. Let's also get these guys for a health pack real quick. Since we took a lot of all damage. We can just use Sightless Beam on them. But they canceled it. Okay, Sightless Beam on these guys. There we go. Easy health packs. And, um... Alright. Let's go to the cave now, guys. Run past the cave. Let's go get the Ice Spear real quick. Let's get the Spear. There we go. Alright. Almost done, guys. Let's talk to you. There we go. We got the talent. One more journal. And then one chase to defeat. Then we get the deep share fossil. But I'm just going to do Ethron real quick. Just for the bell XP. Because I do want bell before we level up, guys. So we can get full reset. Full reset is a necessity for this build. So that's why I'm so like heavy on getting it. But, oh, I just found the acid pit. I mean the, the parasite pit. But uh, let's just get the third journal real quick. Let's go inside this little cave. There we go. Read the journal. Perfect. Alright, guys. Let's drop down past this the parkour make sure we don't fall because we don't have a light hook <laughs> a little scary laggy low-key in these parts it's always so laggy on these parts bro i always so scared but it's like we did all the parkour let's just go be up chaser now guys and up we go and okay guys we're at chaser uh we have a we have a chain perfection stack it's almost max so just try the flawless chaser so we can make this as quick as possible so let's start boys let you guys know once the roof falls all right, let's see if the roof falls. We still have the star heavy weapon, so it's fine. And the roof fell. Okay. He's, he's almost knocked. <laughs> Keep in mind, guys, this is not even like a, a chaser PV build or like a boss PV build. Uh, this is literally a build for one single game mode. And doing pretty good for the bosses as well with a star weapon, not even like a whole maxed out heavy weapon. And okay, that's chaser defeated. Okay, guys. Well, we did literally everything for Deep Shift also, but we're not going to go up yet. Um... What we're going to do instead is let me just do Etheron real quick so that I could probably get Bell in this one run. Hopefully. But yeah, let me just skip to that real quick. Or let me just see what's inside Chaser's chest real quick. I got Mercy Kill. Um, All this stuff is trash. Understood. Okay. Let's go down, guys. Oh my god, I got a ton of heavy weapon XP from this. Oh my god, a ton. I got like 10 points equivalent. I've learned what I can from training right now. I should put it to practice. Okay. Yeah, I got a ton from that. Um, all right, well, let me do Ethron real quick and loot all the medallions. Guys, let me get a power boost real quick just to make this faster so I can seek power in my upcoming battles. I'm interested. Here are the coins, and there we go. All right, let's keep looting the medallions. Right now, we only have 33, which is quite a bit, actually. All right, guys, I looted literally everything. Uh, we ended up with 41 medallions, and now it's time to beat up Ethron, so let's go to him real quick. All right, guys, let's activate Ethron, and, uh, Hopefully we get Bell from this. So, all right, let's do him. Ah, ah, and bop. Oh, health pucks ready? Okay, let me just do the second floor real quick. This better be enough for Bell, bruh. And bam. All right, that's the second floor. One more floor, guys. Easiest Ethron of my life so far. This Ethron is so easy. I haven't even gotten blow 90% yet. And boom, he's stunned. Okay, GG easy. Oh, okay. Ethron didn't get defeated on the first cycle since we still have a star weapon, but... It's fine. Probably just one more um, stun, and then he's defeated. Low-key. Just stun him one more time. All right, guys. This should be the last stun. All right. Let's go beat up Ethron. And there we go. All right, guys. That's Ethron gone. Um, all right. Well, let's escape now. We have more than enough medallions than we need. Uh, I did this for the bell anyways. I didn't even do this for medallions. Uh, this this is not bad. No blue gem? Bruh. How is there no blue gem? Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Let's just escape, guys. We get every gem except for blue gem. Well, cruel world. All right, let's run past these guys without getting infinitely comboed. I mean, actually, we can't because we have brick wall, so it's actually impossible for us to get infinitely comboed here. But yeah, plus we take no damage because of our monster armor. So I don't know what I'm talking about. Let me get greedy real quick and go for more medallion chests. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I have more than plenty, so let's just escape now. 20 seconds remaining. And boom. Okay, perfect. 60 medallions we're leaving with. All right, we're out. So, what I want to do is Chaser betrayed you. Here's all my findings within the Gale. Deep Sure Fossil. Um, let's get the Vampirism Enchant Stone. Vampirism. There we go. So, let's put that in our inventory. Uh, know anything about this. And now we're going to turn everything we have into knowledge, okay? So, let's do that right now. Let's just get 60 knowledge. And there we go. We have 65 knowledge now. Let's go down to layer 2 and bell check ourselves. So, oh, that guy went out. Alright guys, well, we're in layer 2. I'm praying that we have Bell. If not, 
it's wherever we're just gonna have to do in our chaser low key but hopefully we do and hopefully we get running back first try as well and that's the reason i went for a lot so medallions like so much medallions just just in case we don't get running back bell which is needed for this build by the way uh if we don't get running back we just uh re-roll our bell with mr bulls until we get running back right so yeah let's go find a bounder and bell check it real quick i mean we did we did all layer two hook list so we should have bell i hope all right let's go find a bounder real quick guys Oh, we found Bounder. All right, let's let him knock us then. Might take a while since we're so tanky with this build. Bruh, we're taking no damage. That did 4% and we didn't even get ragdolled. Bruh, did he just doing 4% a swing? Or he's, he's doing actually no damage. This is crazy. And we're not even getting ragdolled too. We could literally just stat check him if we wanted to. This is this is a crazy build. Yeah, this is going to take a while. All right, we're back and knocked here. Do we have Bell, please? We don't have Bell. How? What a cruel world. Um, okay guys, well, firstly, let me level up real quick. Let's level up my heavy weapon. Alright, we leveled up. Let's see what we get. St. J, I mean, I'll get that. Sure, why not? Grand Feast. Yes, we need this for uh, the ether. It's gives. And hopefully, oh my god, we got Frozen Servants. Thank you. Thank you. Thank the Lord. Okay, we got Frozen Servants. Um, now what we need is we need Glacial Arc. So let's go Song Chant, by the way. Okay guys, so we need Glacial Arc now. So... I'm pretty sure it's a mobility mantra. So let me recall shoulder bash. Or actually, I have an idea. Let me tell Mystic that I want one star ice mantras real quick. Hello, Mystic. What mantras will find me? I seek adept level ice mantras, please. There we go. Okay, guys. Now let's go to um, the shrine to reroll shoulder bash since we're not using shoulder bash. And hopefully we can glacial arc. Hopefully. All right, let's go through this crack real quick, guys. Okay, Shrine of Mastery we need. Yeah, I wish to engage in deal. Oh no, this is the wrong shrine actually. Is this Shrine of Temptation? Yeah, it is. Okay, so let's give her a shoulder bash. And hopefully we get Glacier Arc on this one. Is it this? Okay, perfect. We got, we have every single monster that we actually need, guys. So let me re-equip Bolt Piercer. Let's put this back in our inventory. We'll get rid of Tranquil Circle. And perfect. This is all the mantras that we ever need for this build. Let me go down in the depths without a light hook once again. Let me just do one chaser. I'm not going to do like a whole Etheron again. Um, and hopefully we get Bell before we get level 20. Because as I said before, we need full reset. So yeah, let's just drop down, boys. All right, guys. I'm just going to cut to when I uh, beat Chaser. And boom. That's Chaser defeated. Hook list too. So that's two times Bell XP. We should have Bell now. Um, hopefully there's a blue gem in the in the chest though. The Chaser chest. Hopefully more than one as, as well. Okay, let's check the chest. Let's see. Okay, there's a single blue gem. Oh boy. Better than nothing, I guess. All right, well, let's go up, guys, and let's bow check again. Okay, let's go down. All right, let's see if we have Bell. I'm praying we do. Okay, it's... Bro, how? All righty. I'll be back, guys. And there we go. All right, let's see if we have Bell. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I'm gonna go check my Bell progress with the guy, because this is absurd. All right, guys, I checked with, uh, with the guy that checks your Bell, and he says I was morphed like clay. So maybe me doing that one enforcer to get up the trial was enough. So let's check. Please, bell me. Give me bell. Oh my god, I finally got bell. Oh my god. Run it back! Run it back! How long does it last? Okay, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Oh, guys, I finally got bell. It, it lasts for seven seconds, too. That's normal. Oh my god, guys. I did, like, five chasers. I did, like, ten enforcers. I did so much to get this bell, bro. Let's go back up. Let's tell Mystic that we want um, full reset real quick. So we need we want miscellaneous. So let's tell Mystic we want that real quick because full reset is a must have, like literally a must have. So what talents will lie ahead of me? Let's say uh. All right, now we can level up. Finally, we got Bell, bro. This was torturous. Like genuinely, full reset. Oh my God, we're balling. Oh my God, we're balling. GG, we won. Um, okay. Let me just get this stuff. I guess we'll get uh. One-handed training, sure, why not? As for the mantra, we don't need any of the stuff. We have all the mantras we need, so we can just roll two. And finally, let's just go song chant. Okay. All right, guys, so we need to modify our Warden's Blade, our Frozen Servants, and our uh, Bolt Piercer. So let's just um, unequip this stuff real quick. All right, let's go through the mantra modification table real quick and modify it. Bro, this guy was a freshie when I last saw him. This guy's been on all day. All right, found the table. Let's cook, guys. Let us cook. All right, let's see our Warden's Blade now. Oh, yeah, it's a lot bigger. That's exactly what we wanted. Uh, let's do Frozen Servants now as well. Let's see. Okay. 
Oh yeah, the Frozen Servants is a lot bigger now. Both monitors are huge now. Uh, let's just do our Bolt Piercer now. We want our Bolt Piercer to last a long time. Okay, offering it for, for an IE notes. And there we go, guys. All right, let me sell some stuff for notes. Let me go to the Overworld to level up my Ice Mantras. And then, guys... Oh, wait, hold on. Let me use my auto dynamic points real quick, guys. Let's put it into Heavy Weapon. There we go. Let me uncap my Heavy Weapon as well real quick. All right, guys. I decided to defeat Chaser just one more time so I can uncap my Heavy Weapon because I did not want to go up to the Overworld and do the Gale Quest low-key. All right. There we go. Heavy Weapon unbounded. Let's check the chest. Oh, Railblade. I'll give this away to someone if you guys subscribe. Blue Gem 2. All right, let's go up, guys. All right, let me put Blue Gem on all my mantras real quick. And let me sell uh, some of my stuff. Okay, there we go. I sold most of my stuff. I kept the Railblades and Grins Riska to give away to you guys. Um, let me put Blue Gems on all my mantras. All right. Okay, guys. Let me just go up to the Overworld just one more time uh, in this progression. Also, I equipped the Enforced Racks. So let me put a Vambrism on this since we um, got the Deep Shore Fossil so long ago. There we go. Vambrism on the Enforcer's Axe. It may seem weird, but you guys have to trust the process, okay? Alright, let's just go up to the Overworld. Bro, Vampirism and Enforcer Axe looks so goofy with the... But let's go up to the Overworld, uh, level up our Ice Mantras, and then it's time. It's time to solo the, the Void Tower event and get to le wave 50 solo a lot of, a lot of you guys see, seem to think it's impossible but trust me it's not impossible and we're about to prove it right now uh let's just level up our mantras first all right guys we are at the ice trainer let's give him all of our money that we have so we can actually level up our stuff boom permafrost prison perfect and there we go that's everything okay guys we are ready we're ready to do the, the Void Tower. I'm Guys, I'm not calling it by its actual name. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm just going to call it Void Tower, even though it's not actually Void Tower. But we're ready to solo the Void Tower and get the Wave 50. All right, guys. Let's make our way over to the Marauder's Entrance. Oh, before we do, I almost forgot. I need to buy a ton of um, repair kits. Make sure you guys buy a ton of repair kits because if you have no armor um, during during this event, oh, you're, you're doomed. You're doomed from the start. So here, buy a ton of these. Oh, I'm going to have to sell some stuff. Hold on, guys. All right, guys. I sold some stuff. Let's buy a ton of repair kits. We're going to have to buy a ton, bruh. Like, actually, a lot. Make sure I just become a stack. So, we have... Most you can carry is five. So, uh, all right, guys. Let's go to the Mariah's entrance. The time that you've all been waiting for is finally here. Let's solo the Wave 50. Okay, guys. It's time for me to solo this thing. Okay, let's enter alone. There we go. We got that step out of the way. We have five repair kits in our name very big stadium um okay guys so build that cooked up we can finally showcase it so what you first want to do is you want to put a glacial arc up there you're going to be camping up there majority of the time the only time you're ever going to come down here is with run it back so let's do this there we go and now let's activate you all right so inspect with the gear shift and now we need to run up here right away so let's run all the way up and now we hide here and go into Tacit. Oh, the lionfish has followed me, but it's not a problem. We can just do this. Boom. Calm little sightless beam as well. And that's most of the lionfish gone. Okay, so now when you're up here and you're in Tacit, as you guys can see from down there, all the mobs, they they don't know you're up here. They don't know you exist. So you can literally just do bolt piercer, right? You can do bolt piercer if you want. You can hit him like that and... Okay, bro did not get knocked, but he got posh broken. But, so, you're not only relying on bolt here. So, so, here's the reason we got running back. We use running back, we drop down, boom, there we go. And, you just do this, and <laughs> you just defeat the mobs. And then, once you get up back up here, you go into Tacit. There we go. And look, those mobs have no clue that we are even gone, right? So, um, let's wait for our running back. And this is a slow process, yeah, but it's a process that will make it so it's possible to solo um this game mode without any people right so let's wait until our running back is all on cooldown uh while we wait we can always use volt piercer like this and yeah like <laughs> this can be very easy guys let's just wait out our, our um running back oh wait guys our running back was always off cooldown because we had full reset um we could have used it right away actually so let me use it right now let's go down and defeat these mobs real quick boom and we're taking no damage because we're in running back. And boom, that's wave 11 cleared. Let me go back into Tacit because next wave's coming. It's just a King uh, Gigamed 
and a Corrupted King Thresher. Uh, yeah, guys, look, they don't even know I'm here because we're in Tacit. And we can just use Run It Back. We can drop down, aggro this guy closer to us a little. Uh, you always want to bring them closer to where you're hiding, right? Um, oh, oops, make sure you guys don't fall. But let's go back in our Run It Back, and we can just Bolt Pierce to these guys. And we're honestly just chilling. And keep in mind, guys, Run It Back has a 20-second cooldown, and full reset resets your bell cooldown every minute. So you can do four Run It Backs every minute, right? So um, it's very nice. So literally, just use Run It Back, spam your mantras like this. Boom. Setless Beam if you want. Bah! Okay, and then we go back and tass it, and they are none the wiser. We can even hit them with the Bolt Piercer, right? Calm little Bolt Piercer to get the extra damage in. And... <laughs> None the wiser. Here, let's go back down. Boom. Oh, they're even glitched. Look, they stopped attacking. Because, um, because what were you doing? We can drop down with Sightless Beam. It got canceled, but boom. All right. Because we killed a mob, we can just use Run It Back again, even though we just, um, used Run It Back. Sightless Beam. Bah! Okay. Let's just use the Bolt Pierce on him down there. And we're not even running out of ether either. Um, also, guys, do not use elements on... Uh, jellyfish they have like 99 percent elemental resistance for some reason but yeah run it back drop down let's just beat up this guy and we're playing it very safe boom we go back and tass it wave 12 cleared so this is the infamous wave 13 i've seen a lot of people complain about this wave because you have two sand knights and a corrupted owl um so what we want to kill first guys is we want to give her the corrupted owl because um, we want to get rid of the mobs that can teleport to us, right? So this is like black shark goes and owls Because like let's say we're running it back and we run it back up here. They could teleport to us and that'd be really bad. So Let's um, I think I'm gonna get rid of that sand knight first. You guys have to still play strategic a little bit So actually, okay, it's fine. Calm load. Boom. And then once you guys get up here. Oh wait. Okay, what I'm gonna do first, I'm just gonna bolt piercer this guy to get him closer to me, right? Um, here, let's make sure the owl does not get up to us. We want the owl to stay down there, right? But now they're both closer to us, so we can just use run it back, okay? Let's get down with a sightless beam as well, and let's just put all the damage into the owl. Um, hold on. Yep, get ready to uh, go back into Tassa literally right now, actually. Okay, there we go. The owl tried going up to us. But we just went back into Tasser, right? Um, and yeah, just keep keep on repeating this, literally. Like, let's just do run it back. Drop down with all the uh, mantras activated. Boom. Sightless beam. Bah. Oh. Okay, and now let's cancel this and do um, Tasset, right? Boom. We're in Tasset and we're safe again, right? Also, look how much blood we're losing, guys. Uh, if we didn't have vampirism, our, this would not be possible. And look, that Sand Knight's already, like, leaving, right? So, let's just hit them with the Bolt Piercer. Let's catch them off guard. Bah! And then we can always uh, go back into Tacit. Even if the Owl, like, knows you're up here, it'll, it'll attack you once, but it'll stop attacking you. It's very, very nice. But, yeah, this is... I, I would say Wave 13 is more difficult than the next... Um, in, until the next wave's up until Wave 35, right? So, once you get past Wave 13, the rest of the waves is pretty easy, low-key. So, let's just go back down. Make sure we don't get hit by the grab. Oh, and he's posture broken. Let's go back and tass it. Just, uh, you guys want, just want to make sure you never get grabbed up here. Because if you get grabbed up here, you're going to get glitched outside the map. And it's it's pretty tough. So, just make sure you're always using run it back. Always dropping down. He's always going to go inside his little, um, realm thing. But it's fine. Just be patient with it. And patience will help a lot. It's not even that bad of a way. It's literally just like uh, a 12 second cooldown for run it back, right? Okay, the owl is posture broken for the second time. He should be knocked here. And boom! That's the owl gone. We, oops, let me task it real quick. That's the owl gone. We barely lost any health. We only lost health, like, literally right now because um I didn't task it. But now we just um a bolt piercer these guys. Boom, there we go. Bolt piercer is more effective on uh, <gasps> mobs that don't range, that don't have range attacks, which is actually a lot. So let's just drop down with run it back. Let's do you. Boom. And that's him gone. And that's him coming back. We can just go back and task it. And yeah, you guys get the point right boom okay the sand knight we can just finish him off with this bolt piercer right boom oh he's coming close to us actually all right let's go back and task it and boom that's wave 13 cleared wave 13 is more difficult than every wave up to um every wave up to 35 so there's two corrupted owls here 
let's just drop down real quick and take care of them. All right. Boom. Okay, that's wave 14 uh, cleared. I just went down to get to get rid of them because I didn't really want to spend that much time uh, staying up here. Like, you guys don't have to stay up here. Like, you can always come back up with Clay Shark. Um, I'm probably going to get rid. So, out of all these mobs here, guys, make sure you get rid of the Sharko first because the Sharko is the only uh, mob that can actually teleport up here with his uh, drop kick move. So, let's do uh, run it back. And now, let's hard target him. Look, he, he literally teleported up. So, let's go back and task it. And now we're just chilling, you know. Run it back. Sightless beam. Boom. And there we go. That's the uh, Sharko defeated. And the rest is so easy. We just have to drop down and defeat the rest of the mobs. But now we can literally just bolt pierce it up here if we want. If we really want to. Like, yeah, we can just bolt pierce it up here. And, and they just cannot reach us at all. We don't have to task it up here. Like, he's, he already got posh broken. But we can just go down. Sightless beam. Bah! And there's nothing they can do. Just make sure you guys don't accidentally uh, fall off. Boom. Wave 15 cleared. We should get chests, actually. There we go. We can go down now. Every five waves, you guys can go down and just loot the chests. Um, we're probably not going to get any good thing good at only wave 15, right? But um, the further waves you go, the higher chance of, like, really good gear. Trust me. Guys, you can get, like, two curves, uh, two crypts, like, two uh, center ashes all in the same, like, run. So, um... Once every five waves, just keep on doing this. Go up here, uh, talk to the you, pull the gear shift, and then uh, make your way up here. Okay, there we go. And then task it once you're up here, and you're chilling. Um, okay, I forgot to mention that you don't have to like do all that. You can literally just start. You can start the gear shift by um, just using run it back here and then running over there. Um, I forgot about that. That's why I took a lot of damage, but. Um, yeah, I won't forget about it next time. Just drop down and literally just hit all of them. Okay, so the sand I went back in his original spot. Now, guys, look, they have no idea I'm here. I can just stand still for 15 seconds and just warriors for spite. Uh, I'll show you guys in one second. Let me just go up here so I don't uh, slide down because of the slope. Okay, we're full, guys, because we warriors for spite. We can literally just go back and task it. Uh, I'm going to target the sand knight. He's not even corrupted, so we can defeat him pretty fast. So, boom. There we go. And he's already almost knocked. Yeah, like, bro, wave 13 is a thousand times harder than this wave. And boom, that's the Sand Knight defeated. And now these guys can't even get up, so we can just... <sighs> bro, we're just chilling. We literally just do Bull Piercer if we wanted to. Boom, wave 16 cleared. Okay, let's go and task it, check our surroundings. Bro, this is so easy. It's so easy that I'm just gonna, like, drop down to defeat this wave. I don't even need to stay up there for that. Boom. Yeah, like, guys, you can just literally... <laughs> If, if, if the wave seems easy, you don't have to waste your time just uh, playing it safe and running back. Just drop down. You can always Glacial Arc back up. It's not worth your time playing it safe like that. Okay, there we go. Now we can Glacial Arc back up. And up we go. And go into Tacit, see what we're dealing with. Oh, this is also easy. Okay, yeah, this is really easy. I'm going to drop down with Sightless Beam and defeat everything here. Bah! Yeah, this is, um... <laughs> this is so easy, bruh. Boom. We can just Glacial Arc back up and see what the next wave is. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, we want to get rid of the sh the Owl first. The Sharko's not a problem because it's not a Black Sharko. So, let's use Run It Back and get rid of the Owl real quick, guys. And that's the Owl gone. Perfect. Now, let's target the uh, Sharko next. And that's wave 19 cleared. We're back at chest in one more wave. Wave 20. Oh, bro, it's literally just three enforcers. I... Bro, I do this daily carrying freshies. I, I literally did this early, this progression. I'm just going to drop down to, since we uh, have a, just a chest wave um, above. Oh, these guys have Enforcer Pro, actually. All right, we can use um, Permafrost Prison. And boom, they're stunned. Yeah, it's so wraps for them, bruh. It's so wraps. And then we just use our critical as well. It, it's over. Sightless Beam into all these guys. And but yeah, bye-bye, guys. <laughs> bye. And we shouldn't get any mobs next. We're going to get chests here. And let me show you guys what I met um, actually before. So, well, firstly, let me just check these chests. I'll let you guys know if I get anything good. Don't don't you worry. Uh, it was all trash, though, since we're so early um, in the stages, though. All right, guys. So, instead of, like, uh, having to interact with it here. Oh, wait. There's still one more chest. Okay, still trash. But anyways, instead of having to interact with it here, um, let me just use Glacier Arc. Go back to our spot, right? And let's interact with it using Run It Back. So, let's pop Run It Back. Let's run to it. Into pool gear shift, and now we go back and task it, and boom, yeah, we're 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 chilling, bro. We're actually so chilling, bro. I could just I could just drop down normally and defeat these guys. Boom, that's wave 21. 
Go into Tassa, let's see what's next. Oh, okay. This one's a little hard. Uh, let's just take care of the squibbles first, low key. So this is why we have Enforcer Axe, guys. So we have Enforcer Axe, so we can use the critical and um Okay. Let's go back into Tacit. So we have the Enforcer Axe, so we can use the critical and block break the squibbles. Uh with Evan Spear, you really can't do that. Because the Enforcer Axe criticals are like a spin. So yeah. Let's just drop down. End it with a I mean begin it with a critical at least. And boom, that's wave 22 cleared. Alright, let's see what we have to deal with. Okay, that's a non-corrupt hour, so we're going to target uh, Sand Knight and now, and then the rest is easy. And boom, that's wave 23 cleared. We are just mowing through the waves. Oh, this one's really easy. It's just four Sharkos. Four Sharkos just sightless beating them, literally. Uh, I'm just going to drop down for this one, because it, it's just that easy. Boom, permafrost, and they're all defeated. It's, it's, just, it's so easy. Okay, let's go back up. Alright, guys, for this one, we have two corrupted bounders. Very easy to deal with. Just drop down and just uh, just spam run it back. And they can't even get up here, so you don't even have to um you don't even have to task it. You can just bolt piercer from up here. Like, bruh, they're so dumb. And yeah, just makes this a breeze. Okay, that's one bounder uh, defeated. I'm just gonna drop down and finish this uh, guy off. They do a lot of damage though, so careful guys. But boom, he just eats all that. Bah! And that's wave 25 defeated. So let's see what's inside the chest, and I'll let you guys know if we get anything good. Oh. Blue gem galore. Okay, not the best though. We we're looking for um relics, guys. So we don't care about gems. At least I don't care about gems. Okay, not the craziest loot from wave 25, but remember, guys, this goes up to wave 50. So let's go back up and let's just run it back to start um the mechanic again. All right, run it back and let's start this thing. Okay, this wave is pretty scary. It's it's all it's all the black shark goes. So I'm just gonna do run it back and sightless beam. And get rid of as many sharkos, uh, run it, black sharkos as I can. But once you teleport up, just instantly go into tacit, or else you're gonna regret it. And that's all the black sharkos gone. Perfect, guys. We're doing amazing. And boom, that's wave 26. Perfect. All right. So the only threat here is literally the black sharko. So let's get rid of him. Okay, that's the black sharko gone forever. Uh, we'll we'll handle this lionfish since no other mobs can get to us now. So we can just stack check this guy. Also, guys, if we didn't have vampires, our blood would be completely gone by now. So, yeah, that's why we didn't go, like, uh, an enchant that would actually help us with damage. That's wave 27. Time for wave 28. Let's go and task it. Oh, this is easy. Guys, none of these mobs, other than the Enforcer, maybe, could uh, could get to us. So, let's get rid of the Enforcer. Uh, make sure you guys use Silent Beam on Enforcer. It's, it's the best, uh, it's the best way. See, if we didn't, if we weren't running back, that would have did all our HP. So... Guys, I really cooked with this build. I, I told you guys I cooked. And no one believed me. But here's proof. And that's wave 28. There's so much junk on the ground, guys. Alright. Okay, once we get rid of the owl, then everything else here is, is so easy. So, Oh, that'd be easy too, because he's um he's shadow version. So we just have to hit him with a sightless beam. And he's over. So, come here, buddy. Also, guys, a quick tech. Um, make sure. Look, this owl's going to grab me, right? But he can't grab me. If I'm on this edge right here. So make sure you guys are always on this edge. So it's the second slope. So slope one and slope two. Make sure you're here because if a Sharko like teleports up to you or if an owl like tries to grab you, they can't actually glitch you out of the map because you're on this side. So make sure you guys are always standing here, by the way. So yeah, just a quick tip for you guys. But yeah, they're almost defeated. And boom. Alright, guys. That's wave 29 cleared. We should get a chest now oh no it's, I, we get carbuncles first actually for some reason all right let me just uh, beat them up real quick yeah guys this is just free we can just bolt piercer them from above look we can just bolt piercer and yeah there's they're getting demolished that's why we have bolt piercer guys and boom that's wave 30 uh, gone guys we should get the chest now oh we do perfect let's see what we get uh I'll, I'll just let you guys know if i get anything good actually oh we got storm's eye guys we just got storm's eye from only wave 30 we just got a storm's eye from <laughs> from literally only doing uh wave 30 that's crazy guys storm's eye is higher value than crypt and curved we got rain spire too uh let's be let's see this chest guys this build is amazing we got storm's eye bro i'm not gonna lie bro i i do not want to risk the storm's eye so i'm probably gonna just exit it here on this wave but um we can definitely can go to wave 50 like there's no like risk at all but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna log here low-key so I can bake the storm's eye. So, uh, yeah.
All right, guys, I went up to the surface so I can uh, bank the storm size. Let me bank it real quick. Let's put it in you. And there we go. We have our storm size banked. I really need the storm size. That's why I went up. But um, yeah, this build can definitely get the wave 50 if you're just patient enough. So I told you guys it is possible to solo this thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and make sure you guys subscribe. And I will be giving away that sort storm side to whoever uh, subscribed. So subscribe right now. And I'll probably post this build in my Discord. So join my Discord or just watch the progression if you want the build, right? And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye, guys.